Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's session, I'm going to cover how to use the Postman API call to retrieve the data from the AWS S3 bucket. Also, how to upload the files by using the Postman call. For this, we need to we need a AWS uh, new user account. Uh, and I will actually uh, take you to the demo version, how to uh, create the users and also how to uh, retrieve the data from S3, also up, how to upload the files. Okay, so this is my AWS account. I have logged into AWS console, uh, into S3 bucket. Uh, you can get the, you need the access key for the users uh, to use in the Postman call. So there is con uh, that contains your secret key, access key, and uh, region. Three more parameters we required for uh, achieving this Postman call. I will take you to that. I have a Postman already open and ready to check here. Two Postman calls are there. So uh, this is my AWS bucket I already created. Uh, bucket name is my AWS bucket 1806.13. That is a bucket name I have created, you can see here. So in the Postman call, there is a uh, authorization field is available here. So in this, we need to select the AWS signature first and access key and the secret key. Both are available in your user account. If you go to the user account where you can easily find the access key, secret access key, that you can use it for your uh, Postman API call. So I need to pass access key, secret key, and AWS region and service name. So AWS region. So how to get the AWS region? The AWS region by going into the bucket can also get from your uh, the user account settings. Or the other option is, you can see here, copy URL. You can see that URL AP South one. So that is the region of this S3 bucket. So this way you can get the S3 buckets region so I need to pass access key, secret key, and also the AWS region and service name. All these four parameters I need to pass. After that, I'm just giving the get method here. There is uh, no other uh, settings required. By just sending this get method, you will get all the files inside the AWS bucket can see new.png, which is already available here, new.png. The similar way, you have a test and inside the test, rama.jpg is there. All these files are available. If you want to see the file, you can also pass it like this. You can see that I already uploaded on uh, Sample image, testrama.jpg. This is a file inside this test folder. I have a rama.jpg is available. So this way we can get and retrieve the data from the S3 bucket. And now I am going to explain how to upload the file. We know the S3 bucket's path. Now what we need to do is the same authorization as I mentioned, or you need to use the AWS signature, access key, secret key, and region. The same uh, credentials you need to update. And later in the body here, the passing the data, we know that in the get command, what are all the data are available. Now we need to actually, I have a two images, which is, available, you can see here, <clears throat> I kept the download, download.jpg one file is available here. 
so this is download dot jpg access tenid can directly pass the file okay one is access i purposefully actually added the file here and shown you if you add here the file uh, uh, you can get that uh, the file selected file you will get the access to it that is the reason i also mentioned download.jpg directly here and posted you can see currently <clears throat> i added into You can see this is a download.jpg just now got created. So this way we can upload the file into Postman card. Users can be created in the IM. I strongly recommend you can create one new user. Don't use the root user. Create IM user where you have access key already available. Uh, which contains access key and secret key. Both that key, you can use it for this postman check. That's all from today's session. Thanks for watching. Thank you.